Hey guys, how are you doing? Well, my client came over for a makeup session, so I decided to record it. It's been long, I really did um, a makeup, so a makeup tutorial. So if you want to see how I achieved that look, please keep on watching. And also, I want to also use this opportunity to share some of the mistakes I've made as a makeup artist that I want you to also look out for, especially if you're an upcoming makeup artist in the industry. So this is just a regular makeup. I, I took my time doing the skin prep, the skin work, the lip and the eyeshadow and everything. So just keep on watching to see how I shift the look and as I share my some of my mistakes that I've made as a makeup artist in my makeup journey. So when I started makeup, um when I started makeup, I think I started makeup 2016 yes i started my makeup journey 2016 that was when i opened my first studio and i started my makeup journey so during that year there were some lot of things that happened so and one of them is um you know that at some point they really broke me like yes sometimes i'll literally come home and be crying i'll be feeling feeling really feeling bad you know your clients will know this and they will be like they think it's nothing but so for some of us that are really emotional it's really something so one of the mistakes was um i really want to tell you a story yes so that the story will help you to that the story will help us to analyze one of those mistakes so a client of mine referred me to a a friend and she i don't i've not met the person i was supposed to do her makeup i don't even know where i'm supposed to go and do the makeup so she just called me that uh, one of your clients referred a uh, uh, spoke well about you that you come and do my makeup we agreed to price i told her how much i how I, I do charge then i think i told her was it not uh, four thousand or was around three thousand or so so it wasn't really much so she and for it was for an outside job but she's not coming to my studio i was going to meet her to do the makeup for her so she said okay no problem that she was going to send me the address the hotel she was lodging that she i think they came for a barrier or something like that yes and it is i think it's a barrier so i was like okay no problem so and it was on a sunday usually i don't take bookings on sundays i take sundays for my christian services and time to rest then so i work from monday to saturday but you know i wanted to really have lots of clients and so i really needed the money so yes i said okay i was going to do it and i was like okay let me go and do it in the morning because you know now maybe higher is two hours i'm done i'll come home and do other things so that's how i left without her even sending me money that's one mistake when you're going for an outside job like that someone is booking you, you're leaving your studio and the person not even send anything even if it's half payments is a big mistake because there are even there are, there are sometimes when clients cancelled on me when I've even left my studio I'm always almost close to them and they are like hey, I'm not sure I can't do this makeup now and stuff like that it has happened so that's one big mistake always collect something even if it's advanced or something best if you can tell them to send you full payment before you leave your studio that was a mistake I made I didn't ask for any money I was like okay when I get there, after I'm done with the makeup, she will eventually pay me. There's no way she will pay me. So that's why I, I left my house. I was calling her, calling her to send me location. She wasn't picking. So at some point, I just stopped. I was like, ah, let me wait the way this lady respond before I'll go and before I, I, I move forward. So I was just, I was, I kept calling her. I kept calling her. She wasn't picking. Close to like an hour, I was just stuck at somewhere waiting for her for her to respond eventually she called she was like she was on her phone she was making an arrangement she sent me the hotel and she was like i should come now i said okay no problem i go to the i go to the hotel i called her she said she's not there yet i should wait for her i waited for extra two hours i go to the hotel by nine she came by around after 11 12 then she told me uh, that she wants to go and refresh you know before we start the makeup i waited for her for another extra 30 minutes to beat and get ready i got there so she was like hey, she's sorry she wasted my time and all of that and take notes it's not like she's going to pay for this extra time <laughs> no problem this is the funny part of the story so her friend was there her friend was like ah, she wants to do her makeup too that how much will i 
child, child. So I was like, ah, normally it's the normal price you're going to pay. I can't really remember, but I'm, I'm, I'm not sure it was up to four thousand, maybe around three five or so. She said, no, now ah, her friend, the one I was doing makeup was like, ah, no, now ah, I'm already paying you now. She just do it for her one five. I said, no, I can't come and do a side job one five when. I do I don't even do that in my studio. She was like, no, no, I just do it for her now. I was like, no, I can't do it. They were like, okay, no problem. That she would just carry her face like that or is a barrier. So I did her friend's makeup. So she wanted to do um this uh, she wanted to do red lip and a uh, uh, blue eyes. She was she was wearing a blue outfit. She said she wanted blue eyes and red lips. So and she was very, very light skin. So I was like, ah, for a barrier that would be like too loud it was just a honest suggestion to me what i felt i was like since her eyes she wanted blue eyes so you go for nude lip or you know something calm since it was a barrier i just suggested she was like okay no problem i should just do it for her i was like okay no problem so i did the makeup for her she was she, ah, she liked it even her friend that said she was going to go like that she was like okay let me do her makeup for her too so I was like, but I can't do it for it for that price. So she said, okay, now nah, please, now nah. she don't have money. That she do it for her two thousand. Both of them begged me. I was like, okay, no problem. I I said, okay, let me just. She said, I don't have to do much now. They just stay the eyebrow and little foundation. She don't even like much makeup. Take note, those person that always say they don't like much makeup. Those ones will be the ones that will hold, they will stress you later. That will say I don't do their makeup way. Always. If you if you're doing if you're doing makeup on a client, every all of us as makeup artists, there's a way we do our makeup and there's a unique way we that's our brand we do our makeup. So if somebody comes and like they don't like too much makeup and especially those ones that will not be negotiating for a lower price that will say I use my products, uh, do this one, you shall understand what I'm talking about. Those persons be very careful of them, be very careful. Sometimes when you when you face the price, just just stick to it, because some of them that will come and be begging you to reduce for them, they will be the ones to stress you. That's what I've noticed in my journey as a makeup artist. Those ones that will always be begging, you, some sincerely they don't really have up to that amount. I'm not saying it's it's like that in all cases, but those ones that will be begging you that uh, please will reduce for me. I don't even need much makeup, this and that. Those ones will end up stressing you, and that's what really happened. So she was like, hey, do this, do that. She was she was just complaining. After I was done the, with the makeup, I before I was done with the makeup, her friend went to the corridor. She did the uh, she was snapping. And beside her friend, do you know that we negotiated for around three five? She said she can't pay me three five that she will give me two five. I was like, no. I told you my price before I came. She said, ah, does that mean she will not price? I, I was like, no, no. That one, you've wasted my time. You're, even pay, you're supposed to even pay extra. She was like, no, no, please, now. And she didn't really budget for that. She doesn't really do like, eh, that eh, much makeup at eh, at home. She was showing pictures of makeup she did. And eh, eh, see now that she doesn't spend that much. That she don't worry. That when they come next time, they will patronize me. They will refer me to their friends. I she don't worry. That's how they were begging me. She or oh, the mom, the main client i went there for not a friend i was like okay no problem she removed 500 naira. <laughs> me trying to be a nice girl no? mm-hmm. <laughs> i was like okay no problem so she went to the corridor to snap picture i think she snapped with flash in in the corridor of the hotel where she was lodging and i think she had flashbacks she did not even show me the picture but she just came she was not happy she that said she was she that looked at the mirror and said she was okay with the makeup. I know if I didn't even go with my ring light, then I'm not sure I had a ring light yet already. So we use natural light. She that I've already looked at her face so with um with natural light and saw that it was okay that she said she liked the makeup, everything was okay. And it that even and that, the makeup even motivated her friend to say she wants to make her to do her own makeup. She came but she said she doesn't like the makeup, that uh, the, her pictures are not fine. So I was like, okay, what's about the makeup you don't like? Is that you want me to reduce something you know what? She was just looking at the picture. I was I was trying to explain to her that maybe it's because of the flash you use. Try going outside and using natural light first. She was like, hey, you know, she doesn't like the makeup, she just got angry and she left the room. So she was not like I should just do her face so that we can leave. So her friend now wanted to also use that opportunity to want to you know 
to want to knock like she she never wanted to like pay me again that kind of that was like ah. she said eh, 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 her friend's makeup is not fine now that even this hour she doesn't even like it ah ah at that point i became angry i just told her see you see this baby i are going to nobody knows me they they know you i will go down and embarrass you so you better give me my money let me leave here after you begged me to reduce the amount i'm supposed to get i was like okay let me just add your own plus also at least so that it won't be as if i wasted my time now you are saying you're not going to pay me my full payments you're not giving my full money that was how i exchanged it for her and she said okay no problem. she grudgingly she gave me the money and i left when i came i was very angry i was not happy at all even my husband was was asking me and I, I, I told my husband everything was like don't worry just forget about it i was not happy i just slept off only for me to wake up to see series of messages she she was insulting me no sense makeup artist you don't even know what to do you pack all the foundation the whole world on my face and um, you you did makajasi makeup on me she don't even just stop there she sent a lot of messages insulting me and everything then later she even called my clients that referred me so i just woke up and my clients called me i was like what happened i explained to her that look at what happened oh. she was like ah I, did, I, did i snap i said with what happened like when she was rushing and when she got angry she wasn't even talking to me she just left the room so i couldn't even snap the makeup she was like okay i was like okay let her send makeup to us like if she can tell her to send the makeup so that she can see what really happened so i explained to her that maybe it was because of the flash she used at the corridor or she likes the makeup at first she was like okay no problem that she doesn't really know the girl that it's her i think it's a family friend like it's her sister she tried she described it somehow so i apologize to her that please she should not get angry over here it's not like it was, she would say no problem so that's what that's it so that's how i had that terrible is a experience so what was, what was my point as a makeup artist if someone is booking you like me now i'm not i'm not like big in a brand i can't say i'm big there's persons who are big you know like they've built the brand they are big and stuff like that so you know they've had lots of clients and they they can be able to set their rules and follow it yes as an upcoming makeup artist you're starting this makeup journey yes you want to have clients yes you and yes honestly there are no fast and hard rules to this makeup thing because people varies and situation varies yes that's why me for one one thing i've told myself is if i'm going for an outside job i'm leaving my studio you are paying me my money first before i leave my studio if you've not paid me we don't have a booking we don't have a booking yet you're paying me unless for those um my client that over time we had this relationship and i know that yes there's no there's no way i'll do their makeup for them and they will not pay yes there are clients like that you've over time you've gained their trust and everything yes but for situations whereby someone is booking you for the first time you don't know the person please even if the person says okay i don't know you now why would i give you that person to pay part payment the way you get there when you are done with your makeup you can call it your full payments that also applies to for brighter jobs let your your clients know like me i always tell my clients you pay more than half of the money before i come for the first day you know most persons here in nigeria they do they do the, the traditional the bride price day then the white wedding or the civil wedding so i'm like if i'm coming you pay more than half of the money you're paying then before i come the second day the even before i come the second day you pay me my money because to me it's really embarrassing when maybe you are going about maybe you're on your reception i'll not be whispering to your ears and you've not sent me my money i want to leave Mm-mm. it's embarrassing to me and i feel it's, it's at that point that's not what the bride is thinking so i just explain to them that see please this is how i do my things when they are refined will continue and apart from that when you are a makeup artist when you face have a fixed price you've known how much you 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 spend on products your expenses after calculating and you fix the price sometimes it's best you stick to it because sometimes when you lower your standard for some persons 
it's 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 some persons just take it for granted some persons that's why i say sometimes some persons they will appreciate it some persons actually it might not really be up to their budget so it's for you to really determine make sure you get it here so that's it and do you really know that when one good reason why you should collect your money before you go to a, a, a client's house is to avoid stories that touch later and uh, there are some persons there are some clients that after you've done their makeup they'll tell you don't worry um i'll send you the money that's another mistake that happened one time she was like hey i'll send you the money when a uh, later i'm rushing now can i please send you the money later i i, I told the client yes no problem okay I, I i know her it's not the first time i was doing her makeup anyway so i'm like no problem later now it's time to send my money she was trying to reduce the amount reduce the, the my normal amount that we've agreed on for her the excuse was that um and she was she was like um the makeup will not last so and she can't pay the amount that i'm seeing that we've already negotiated <laughs> so really see this these things i'm i'm telling you if you don't take time you know they can cause issues for you and sometimes even those at, the, at, at, at that point instead of gaining the clients you end up having issues with the clients that's why sometimes there are some persons that will call me for makeup because i don't really want to have confrontation or anything i just tell them i'm not available i'm not free i can't come against because those clients you feel you want to gain you want to have clients you you you're not having business plan you don't have you don't know as a business owner as a makeup artist at this point you don't know what you're supposed to do you don't you don't have your your rules and you don't stick to them those clients you feel you want to have you might end up not having them you might even having issues with them and by saying you have issues with a client forget if you know how to do your jobs they will not call you again and if they don't call you they can't recommend you to someone else that's it so but when you have your rules they know that okay this is your standard you see that yes they will stick to it and they will respect you even more that's what i've noticed since i, I had the standard and i keep to it sometimes the, the clients will be like um no problem do they, they'll get back to me i'm like i'll just remove my mind that's what i do until a client pays me i just remove my mind even for better jobs when they they call me they they contact me maybe they send me a message i just remove my mind until when they pay me so just remove your mind the one that wants to patronize you will patronize you just keep to your standard even when i patronize persons when i even buy from persons online buy product from persons online i don't know them i just saw them online i just like okay this page is reliable i buy from them i pay if you don't pay they will not answer you until you pay that's when they will answer you and if you tell them i'll get back to you they will not answer you again until you shut them up again so you as a makeup that's what i did whenever you make whenever a client shuts me up and requests for my services after we've negotiated and everything and she says send a kind of ice i sent that's where our discussion is until she shuts me up again hey i don't go about asking them disturbing them bothering them that's a uh, this because that makes you look as if you are desperate yes yes i want to really do your work yes you've seen my work but by the time you start being desperate disturbing them that's when they will start they will be like okay this one she needs the money let, let me just give it to her okay no problem they will start telling you that they can't pay up to the amounts you want to pay that's what i've seen personally i'm not saying it's like that in all cases yes but personally over time yes it's not bad when you tell someone you meet someone you tell the person ah maybe a friend or someone you know is getting married you meet them and tell them that yes i want to do this your makeup for you you see no that's not what i'm saying but when you start pressuring them hey eh, and you've not sent the money this and that stuff like that hey eh, it makes you look desperate as a makeup artist and with time though you know when you when they even want to give you the job they will not want to pay you well because they feel you are the one that needs it more and later on now they'll be like hey, hey she was the one disturbing you i never wanted to give to her or hey, look at now if i had known i would have just give, look for someone else so issues like that will start coming up so you as a makeup artist 
you know your work you know what you are doing instead of using your time to be looking for clients to be nobody disturbing with their dms and stuff like that use that time and invest in your work they will be the one coming to meet you that ah, i want you to do my makeup because you've seen your work you i don't know if you get it yet that's what i've learned over time so now i don't if you shut me up fine no problem with a good price you say send your account number if you even don't request for my account number me i'll know who said until you say send me your account number and i'll send you my account details okay. then i'll just leave you until you you you, you until you send money if you tell me and uh, it's also day though maybe your client says i should come for home service and you tell me it's tomorrow and uh, send me a, your account number i've sent you account details you've not sent anything i'm not leaving my house so if you like come if you like be hurrying if you like be in a hurry you understand you have an appointment you have to cash you have to be somewhere by seven or this if you don't send me my money i'm not leaving i will just i will just let you know so if you like call me i'm like ah you've not sent me my money so i can't leave like that <laughs> that's that's why it's very good as a makeup artist you just you know have your standard yes you know yes at some point when you are coming you you, you fall you tend to make these mistakes yes that's why i'm sharing my experience for you to know like i will always say it's not all situation like this it happens there are exceptions so it's not for you to design those exceptions yes like i said earlier there are some persons that will book me and i'll go even though they've not paid me because over time they've earned my trust i've earned their trust too so when I do my job, they pay me, yes. And even sometimes, some of these, some of them, they even pay me before, even after I've done their makeup over and over again, they pay me beforehand. And yes, and another thing is when a, a, when a, a, a client books me and they're coming to my studio, if they don't pay me, if they don't pay me in advance or something, me, I don't stay bothered. You are coming if you like, come if you like, don't come because me too. I'm and I, I make hair too, I'm a hairstylist, so you know, like it's the, only the makeup I do for a living. So sometimes when I'm not doing makeup for clients, most of the time, most of the time, I'm making hair, I'm making person's hair, I'm styling their hair. So, so you know, like my life is dependent on it, yes. Both of them, both, both jobs, that's what I do. I'm a makeup artist, I'm a hairstylist. So it's not like I depend only on makeup. So when a, a client books me and she doesn't pay me, especially when she's coming to the studio, me, I don't bother. If she comes, fine, I do her makeup. If she doesn't come, me, I don't stay bothered. <laughs> so that's it. That one is a different situation. But when you are leaving your studio, please. That was our one client. <laughs> You know, it's really funny. There was our client. I've already gotten to like look at her where she was lodging. Look at where I was. I was like, okay, let me just pick up some uh, product I needed at the makeup shop very close to where her, her hotel was. And she called me that uh, I should go back. I should go back home. That, um, uh, that she, they don't want to do the makeup that time. That I should go back and come back in an hour's time. And where I was coming from was far. So I was trying to explain to them that ah, there is no need for me to go back now. I can do this makeup for you, and it would because her concern was if I do the makeup that morning and the the location the wedding they are going for, it's by twelve or so. I'll be by one. That the makeup will not be nice. And I think I was there by nine already. I was like, if I will do your makeup and your friend's makeup, it will be around twelve or so and then you leave for where you are going makeup is supposed to last for all day uh-huh. brides they do their makeup early in the morning some even five six seven and that makeup is supposed to last till the evening when they do their after party or stuff like that so i was like but she was like no i should go back imagine that kind of situation <laughs> so she after later she was like hey, she can't come to my studio again that she go back that she can't come back that she make refunds i thought like i don't make refunds that imagine i've already wasted transport i already paid for transport to come i'm already paying for transport to go back so if i was even supposed to be the one to pay me say she you get so that's it so as makeup artists just have this standard these are the mistakes i've i made and i really don't want you to make them so 
this is the final look of this this of this tutorial so hope you've learned something please don't forget to like and subscribe till next time bye bye